Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create whiteboard graphic in PowerPoint. The graphic you will learn to create looks like this. The graphic is complete with the eraser and the marker tool as well. Let us see how to create this wonderful graphic from scratch by going to a new slide. What I'm going to do is first let us try to minimize this so that we have lesser distraction. I'm going to press Ctrl M to have a new slide and the layout I want is a blank layout. So I'm going to choose the blank one and let us go to home. And the first step is to create the frame for the whiteboard for which I'm going to go to the basic shapes in auto shapes. Under basic shapes you have this tool called as frame tool. Click on it and draw a huge frame. Now as you can see the default version has a much um, broader width than what we really require. So you can push this yellow handle towards the edge to reduce the width of the frame. Now this seems good enough. The next thing is to give it a slight bevel so that the frame looks a lot more realistic. So I'm going to go to right click format shape and under effects option I'm going to choose under 3D format top bevel. The bevel I'm going to choose is this one called a circle. Now the bevel is not sufficiently thick enough so I'm going to increase the thickness to say 10 and 10 for width and height. You can always increase it to choose your uh, requirement. Maybe 12 would give even better uh, look and feel. Now once you are done with this click on it and we want a subtle color for the frame. Usually the color that uh, you see the frames in is slight gray or steelish gray color. So I'm going to choose this one called as white background one darker 25%. So I click that one and I remove the shape outline. So there we are our frame is ready. The next step is to draw the board inside for which let me go to rectangles shape here and pick up this basic rectangle and I'm going to draw the rectangle so that it fits in the inside of the frame that we had drawn earlier and just to be safe we are going to send it back so right click send to back. Now we need to make this color also in line with the whiteboard color so I'm going to choose a simple one like white background one darker five percent. The reason why you need the darker 5% is to make it slightly distinct from the slight background color. So I'm going to click on that one. The next step is to give it an inner shadow to make the whiteboard look a little more realistic. So let me go to shadow and the preset I'm going to use is under inner and it is called as inside diagonal top left. Now as I click that you can see that the shadow is making the whole whiteboard look a lot more realistic. Now the board is ready. The next step is to draw the eraser for which I am going to go to rectangles and choose this one called as rounded rectangle tool. Click on that one and let us keep the duster or the eraser here. So I am going to draw a simple rounded rectangle here and I am going to choose say a black color for the eraser remove the shape outline and let me give a slight bevel so that the eraser looks a lot more realistic. I'm going to choose this one for the top bevel called as angle. Now as I do that you can see that there is a nice bevel to make it give feel like a duster. Now I also am planning to add a bit of shadow maybe shadow to the left here so outer under outer you have this one called as offset left and when you do that you have this light shadow that makes the duster look like it is stuck on the magnetic whiteboard. The next one is to draw a pen or a whiteboard marker and it is going to comprise of two rectangles. The first one we are going to choose a simple rectangle and this one is going to be the cap for the pen and maybe I will remove the outline and give it say a black cap. and the body portion of the pen is going to be another rectangle maybe slightly thinner than the previous one maybe 
or even it can be thicker because these days the pen and the body are pretty much of the same size now just to make sure now you can remove this outline as well for this uh, pen and give it a slight black color because it is the text font we are going to use the font we are going to use is black now select both of these and go to arrange align and align center so that they look proper and select both of them and press ctrl g to group them now we have the board marker the board marker and the eraser and the whiteboard available all you need to do is to write the text here and it is a good idea to write the text outside and then bring it in because if you click here then you will start writing from inside which is uh, not really the ideal scenario so you can say your slide title text here and I'm going to keep it here and uh, let me increase the size to something like this one and it is always a good idea to use some kind of handwritten font and the font that I'm going to use is called as Sego print and you will find this here if it is running beyond then you can always reduce the font size and have it here and let us write a little more text inside because I'm going to use this to write a quote so quote inverted commas so and then um, you can replace this sample text with your own text and then finish the quotes get that inside and as always we will try to increase the font so that it looks like it is written on the board and we will choose the same handwritten font for our um, text on the board as well there are many other handwritten fonts and all you need to do is to go through this catalog sometimes you might want to use Bradley hand or a brush script or any of those whichever that suits your requirement you can use the font so that is how you create whiteboard graphic in PowerPoint you can use this for your e-learning templates say you want to um, show some calculation or you want to write something which people need to take notice of you can always use this beautiful frame to draw attention to the text you want to highlight let me show you some variations of whiteboard diagram and some of the other ways in which you can showcase the text in your e-learning templates the first example is this one which is a variation of the whiteboard graphic and as you can see here I have created a duster in the 3D version, I have given a small platform here and this is the pen and I have given steel frame so this is another variation of the whiteboard graphic. You can always create a green board as well for which the frame will be with the texture of wood and you can always have a greenish green with gradient fill to have the background for uh, the main body and here you can have a chalk piece instead of the pen this is the text that comes on click another way in which you can display your uh, text is to show this display screen with a proper scroll that comes from uh, top to uh, top down and you can write some extra text if you want to here and you can see here a nice handle that draws the uh, scroll another variation of this uh, scroll is this projector screen where you can show the text here so those are various ways in which you can project and showcase the text for your e-learning templates if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating whiteboard graphic in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, videos and read some articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.